binding for edging of your quilts, for applique stems, if you do a lot of applique, to, to prepare that binding, okay. I'll go through the different methods when, when I've shown you the demonstration and how you do it, okay. Right, so these are what's called the sachet strips and it's a comprehens comprehensive collection of different sizes. Um, you always cut your sashing fabric double the size of the, the roller that you're going to be using. So I'm going to be using one and a quarter inch, so I've cut my sash my strip of fabric to two and a half, okay? And that's a, yeah. So you give it, press first, let's get it pressed. And then you start it off by folding your row edges together in the centre, <coughs> wrong sides together. And you just press it about an inch just to give it a start. Yeah. You thread your sashing ruler through your fabric, through the fabric like you would a buckle. And then you anchor it down with a double pronged pin. Okay. You just give it a bit of tautness on the on the fabric. You sit your iron in that little groove there, and then just slide it along. And there you've got your sashing strip. Very clever. Very clever. It goes, it, this comprehensive pack starts for a two and a half inch sashing and it goes down to an eighth of an inch. So the eighth of an inch you'll be, you'll be using a quarter of an inch strip. And that's for your very, very fine stems on your applique. Or also as well, stained glass, you know, your stained glass strips as well, you can use it for that. If you were wanting to do a curved piece, then of course you would cut your fabric on the bias if you're doing curved applique. Okay. So going through to the sample that I've done here. Um, when we do a traditional um, sashing quilt as you go, we do a back and we also do a front, two, two strips of sashing. We would have to, you would have to do with that the back one if you were doing a pieced block that because if you don't you will miss your points but if you were doing a pieced block that had got a border on like the one on the back or an applique block or an embroidered block block then you could just sew your seams together on the back as normal so you would have a normal seam okay then on the front you just lay your sashing strip over that seam, <coughs> stitch it down either side with invisible thread. And that for those that hate hand stitching, this is, you know, this, that you know that would hate doing all the hand stitching, you can machine it down. You could even do an embroidery stitch if you wanted to, to make it fancy. Yeah? The next one is if it's um, an edge-to-edge -edge, uh, pieced block. So you can't do it that way else you would you would cut off your if your points on your blocks. This way you would cut off your, you know, you miss your points. So you put a strip on like the normal way that we do. And again, then you put your strip, your, this sashing on the edge, on the side, covering your raw seams and then stitch again down the side. And I've put on this, these sashings can be made to the width of your choice. These are my choices of widths. So you can have this any size you want. You know, it's not, it's not comprehensive, you know, to do that. Then the one that I really, really like is the back is the same as traditional. So we, we sew in the strip, strip as we would do normally in Quilt As You Go. We put in one strip down, a wider one, sew it down edge to edge with invisible thread, making a narrower strip. So, we, so that's an half an inch ruler. So I've cut that strip one inch wide, folded it out to make an half an inch and sewn it on the top and it makes a decorative uh, sashing on your on your strip, I love yeah, that. Yeah. And I mean, you could even do three if you wanted. Yeah. So if you had, yeah. if you started with that one as a wider yeah. one, then you could have, you know, a, 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 yeah, an half yeah, inch in that. Yeah. And then the final one, but this is, you know, you, it's infinite what you can do with it. Again, I've done edge to edge on the back, 
and cut a strip two inches wide, two strips, two strips three quarters of an inch wide, folded those in half, stitch them down the edge of this strip and then put this through the two and a half inch, the one and a half inch sasha ruler to open up these seams. So that's not folded at all, that's just one single piece of fabric. And I've also put a strip of wadding in between just to make it a bit, and then you get a loose flange on that one, which is another nice way of decorating, you know, making your, making your sashing a bit more decorative. That's all there is to it. And so, like I said before, anybody that hates hand stitching all these bindings together, it's a boon because, and I've fallen in love with in, Invisible Thread as well, because it's 